Hey guys, so I just wanted to go ahead and go into my pantry. Um, there is a video on my fridge and my freezer, but I, go, I wanted to go ahead and just kind of go over the things that I always have in my pantry so you're not having to continuously go to the store, or if you have a craving, you can at least try and um, satisfy it here with the things that you have in your pantry. Um, so something that I always have in my pantry is bread, um, just in case you want a sandwich or something, if you want a piece of toast. Bread is always really good. I go for whole grains. Um, so if you want to get that, you can get that. Something too that's really good, um, something that my husband really enjoys and I occasionally enjoy are little granola bars. I don't normally encourage to eat these every day, um, but if you do have a sweet tooth, this is an easy way to satisfy it without having to like over engorge in something. Um, so granola bars are really good to have for backups. If you are a cereal person, always have the variety of cereal that you want. Um, don't feel like you have to actually get like healthy cereal, okay? It's okay. So for example here, I have fruit rounds. Um, they're pretty much like Fruit Loops, but I shop at Aldi, so it's kind of like the, a different brand. Um, so I have that. I have like Cocoa Puffs, and then of course I'll have, you know, my honey bunches of oats type deal um, if I'm wanting to add like fruits to my cereal. Um, but that's pretty much, I have a variety of different things so that whenever I do have a craving, I'm not having to try and satisfy it another way. So usually these cereals don't get consumed very quickly. It's just when I have that dire need of, oh, I want Cocoa Puffs or, oh, I want cereal, um, like Fruity, Fruit Loops, um, I at least have that available to me, okay? So that's the biggest thing. I don't hate on any food. It's just learning how to eat the food in moderation and learning how to read the serving size, okay? So you're aware of what you're consuming. Um, so I have that always available. And then something that I always have available too, if you notice down here, I have chips and little snacks, rice cakes. Um, and that's just because, I'm not gonna lie to you, my husband is a huge chip fan and I've always kind of liked chips occasionally like with my sandwiches. So I at least have options there. I do have pita chips um, because I do love hummus. Um, so I do always have a bag of pita chips available to me. Now, if I just want some chips for a sandwich, I at least have know that I have the options to do that. Um, and then tortilla chips are always really good. I always make sure I have those. And then another good snack to always have are pretzels. Um, these are good because they're not um, chip style. They do give you that salt and crunchy flavor, but if you want to dip these in peanut butter, um, you can do that. Or sometimes I'll take, uh, the serving size is three rods, so I'll take the three rods and then just dip it in a little bit of Nutella, and that's a good, rig, a good way to kind of satisfy your sweet tooth. Um, so that's a really good idea. I always have dried fruit, um, just in case I do have a sweet tooth, but I'm not necessarily craving like a chocolate or anything. I just want something sweet um, and something chewy. I usually have dried fruit available. If you'll notice too, I do have cookies. Um, again, that is just for when I do have that dire need of, I want a cookie. Um, another thing to always have is your peanut butter, okay? Peanut butter is always a really great snack to have because you can always just kind of eat a spoonful and it'll satisfy you for a little bit. Um, if you want to put it on crackers, you can definitely do that, which I always have crackers too available. So anything that you can think of snack-wise, um, I usually have. I have sugar in here. I also load up on marinara sauce for when it's spaghetti night um, or I decide to make like a random meatball sub. I at least have marinara sauce with me um, and that's just for when I need it. So I don't necessarily like gro going to the grocery store a ton. So I like to kind of stock up on things that I know that I'm going to use. Don't get things that you know that are just kind of like there for one recipe. Try to get something that you know you're going to use consistently. Um, I have coffee too. I have my seasonings, um, always salt, pepper for sure. And then I have a variety of different seasonings, which I'll go over and add to the bottom of this video. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And then always, always, always I have, you can't really see them because they're in the back here. Um, but I always have canned beans. So anytime I can't think of something, I don't want to use meat. I just want to have like a protein that is not going to give me a ton of fat, I at least have those canned beans with me, okay? Beans are a really good protein and carb source. Um, so I always have beans because they're delicious and you can pretty much have them on anything. Um, and then something else I always do have as well as I have noodles in the back, so any kind of pasta, if you like pasta, you can have that readily available. 
or I have rice. I have, usually I have regular white rice or I'll have jasmine rice, um, just because those are the two rices that I enjoy. Um, and usually I'll just cook those in an Instapot and just have them for dinner at the side. Um, or I'll combine it with beans. Just so you know, when you combine beans and rice, it makes a complete protein. So you don't necessarily have to have protein if you eat beans and rice together um, because they complement each other. Um, and then another thing too is having your sauces. So hot sauce, have your soy sauce, anything that you like. Um, this is just so that you can have seasonings, um, sesame oil, rice vinegar. Um, I like to make fried rice every now and again, so I always have that available. You can have barbecue sauce, A1 sauce, um, things such as that. And then always have your oil. So vegetable oil, canola oil, olive oil. So you're not gonna always use one oil. Most of the time I use olive oil, um, but when I need something like a recipe that calls for vegetable or canola, I do use those. So it's not, like I said, I don't hate on any food. It's just learning how to use those foods in moderation. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's okay to fill your pantry with things that you know you're going to eat. So this all will eventually be eaten. None of this goes to waste. It just doesn't go so quickly, okay? So again, it's just learning how to eat in moderation and enjoying your life while at least being mindful of what you're eating. So that's pretty much my pantry. Um, don't really have anything. Oh, sometimes, so this canned veggies, if you're ever making soup, it's good to have a couple of canned veggies. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And oh, honey, I always have honey just in case, but that's it. I believe. Yes. Um, and yeah, my onions. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, so this is my pantry. I just wanted to go over and share with you what I do have in here and just teach you that it's not bad to have, uh, a variety of different things. So always get things that you enjoy, but just know that knowing the, the nutrition facts, knowing the serving size, what you're consuming is really important. Again, go ahead and look at my nutrition fact video so that you are aware of what you're eating. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoy this. This video is just to help you feel confident in the decisions that you make when it comes to food. And then also just to teach you how to enjoy life. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you want to subscribe so that when I post more videos, you can definitely watch them and get a notification. You can definitely do that. But I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.